Hello there, Trevor here from Double Bill Movies. Yesterday I got the opportunity to go to H&V and I picked up a couple of titles. Had, had to put them in this lovely bag. So the first thing was, um, my wife ordered Snow White from Amazon, but it came damaged. So to get a replacement, I popped it into H&V and I picked up a nice 4K. And uh, the sleeve is much, much better. So having watched this awesome channel that I watched, you may have heard of it, um, talk about this film. It reminded me that I needed to get it myself, and it is the 4K of the others. I think I worked on the DVD for this when I was at Testronics, but um, I'd be interested to see how good this looks on 4K. It doesn't have a HDR, but hey, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> I wonder if you can guess where I am. <laughs> <laughs> the last title I bought was U571. Now, highly inaccurate World War II film, but still a great film at that. Um, it's always been a very good sounding film, so I'm really looking forward to getting this on my system and seeing it on the big screen and having lots of explosions go off around me. So there you go. Take you somewhere else and see where, if you can guess where I am. <laughs> okay, so now can you guess where I am? Yeah, um, my wife and I got invited to come and see John and Sue and uh, check out his lovely cinema. Of course, when you come to watch to a cinema, you have to watch a film, don't you? So, what we watched was Martin Scorsese's After Hours. Um, this is on the Criterion Collection, and it is a 4K. Um, aspect ratio is 185, and the sound is in mono. There's plenty of bonus items here. Um, we didn't really watch any of them. We did start to watch an interview, but uh, we kind of figured it was going to go on too long. And by this time of the evening, we were a little bit tired, so... Um, there you go. Lovely image on this disc. Um, not too heavy grain. A lot of the shots are at night time. I mean, this is when you usually get a lot of grain, but uh, it wasn't too intrusive. The mono sound was really nice as well. Um, obviously, John has a really nice large center speaker and uh, gave us a really full soundtrack. Um, didn't feel like that we weren't being encompassed by lots of audio. Um, it just sounded like a really nice film. It looked really good and it was fun to watch. So thank you very much to John and Sue Clancy for inviting us to visit their house and to see their wonderful home cinema. Um, the shots of what you're seeing here are clearly uh, the media room that sometimes you see John standing in. Um, it is quite a vast collection as you can see lots of different formats dvd vhs and these are all laser discs here okay so before i sign off i'd just like to tell you about uh, an event that's going on on the 29th of october in leicester i will put a link in the description below to a website called film is fabulous this is an event that has been uh, partially organized by john clancy um, and some other film enthusiasts and the De Montfort University has got involved and they are helping to put on this event. If you would like to learn more about actual film itself and see some presentations, some um, 35mm, 8mm, 16mm, whatever, um, on the big screen in the cinema there, um, then yes, get yourself to the link, have a look at the website, uh, learn a bit more about it um, and book yourself some tickets. Well, I hope you liked that video. Um, please give it a thumbs up. Go and give John Clancy some support if you don't know his channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.